personally, I don't like glutefisk <laughs> and I don't know how to make lefse. Mm -hmm. What I want to show is that Norwegian cuisine is so much more. In my culture, there is something called kusli. Kusli. Am I pronouncing that right? We are close. We're close. <laughs> kusli. Kusli. Yeah. Directly translated, it means coziness. Coziness. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's it, it's so much more in mm -hmm. Scandinavian culture. It's love. It's friendship. It's sitting under a blanket in front of the fireplace with some candles. In the middle of this culture is waffles. Did your mom hand their recipes down to you? Today, uh -huh. the recipe that I'm gonna make yeah. is my mom's. But you know how she gave me the recipe? She said, Stina, you know, you oh, just yeah. take a little milk and then you add some flour. And I was like, mom, how much flour? She's like, just enough. Yeah, that's, that's my mom too. So the first thing that we need to do is to crack three eggs. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. The thing about waffles in Norway is that you find it everywhere. I think 98% of the Norwegian population mm -hmm. has a waffle maker at home. Wow. <laughs> waffles, you find it in gas stations, in fine dining. If you hike uh, in the mountain and you reach a cabin, yeah. they're gonna have waffles at top of that mountain. You get it served in birthdays, weddings, everywhere. As you whisk, you're incorporating the air. Mm -hmm. This is one of the secrets to a good oh. batter. <laughs> It is probably more easy to use one of those hand mixers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say it, but I'm just like, just hold the tears back. <laughs> Why do you think I'm having you doing this? <laughs> yeah. It's not really something that we eat so much for breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's more snack in between meal and have a cozy time. This is whole milk and whole milk has a natural sweetness to it. Mm, yeah. The next thing is sour cream. Oh yeah, and right away like with the sour cream, I can smell kind of that tart, mm -hmm. you know? It's all about creating harmony in the mm -hmm. batter. Mm -hmm. And there is as many waffle recipes as there are people in Norway. Yeah. You know, they put orange juice in it, they wow. put seltzers, oh. they put beer. That yeah. looks great. And then mm. cardamom and vanilla sugar. I need to talk about yeah. cardamom because in Scandinavian cooking, mm. cardamom is the that's the cozy taste, oh, okay? okay? That's what brings me home to my grandma's kitchen. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add two teaspoons of this. I love cardamom. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think that one's strong. Okay, <clears throat> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. This is the love. This yeah, is no. the butter. Like fat is always love. Yes. In bone cooking, it's it's always about the fat. We actually have a term, nokato, which means flavor of the fat. Yeah. So if something's like very savory, really good, you're like, nokato. Cool. We should add that to Norway. Too. Yeah, Norwegian <laughs> culture, yes. Doesn't that smell fantastic? Yeah. That cardamom yeah. and that butter and that vanilla sugar, yeah. everything just comes together in perfect harmony. Thank you, Mama, for your recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles has always been very dear to my heart. I grew up with my mom making waffles for guests coming to our house. In the summer when we were outside playing in our big backyard, she would bring the waffle maker out and take some strawberries and raspberries and cook fresh waffles and put that on there and it was just very dear memories. Wow, what do we have here? Mm. These are traditional Norwegian toppings. So we have a little bit of regional. The regional toppings are eggs and caviar. I love that stuff. It's not my personal favorite, oh. but the up north, they love it. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of Norway, Trøndelag, yeah. they have this uh, Jalsberg cheese. What is eaten all over Norway is this brown cheese. Explain to me the name and how it's made. Yetus. Then it's boiled for a very long time, so it caramelizes and oh. gets sweet. So that's why it's brown. This is Norway's peanut butter. And then we have this classical butter and sugar, and the most traditional of them all, okay. which is okay. this sour cream and berries. So you want to yeah. do the hard work, yeah. maybe? Yeah, again. <laughs> he's doing great. I love that he's doing all the hard work. 
I would have been a great Norwegian boy. I'm gonna tell you. Mm. So this is Norway on a plate. Oh, it's so cool. In Norwegian, we say velbekommen when you're gonna start eating, but we don't use a fork and knife. Um, so we, we don't do our, our people, yeah, hands. We use our hands, so we can either split it into hearts, we can fold it. You're a folder? You're yeah. Binda is a folder. And this is amazing. I really think what makes this is that sour cream. And with that tartiness and the sweetness of the berries, oh, this is. This is so great. Do you like it, Luna? I like it. <laughs> She's living the dream right now. <laughs> this is what it's really all about. By sharing these waffles with you, you are part of our family. That's so. great. And I put a lot of things on the waffles, but I'm not gonna put a little face. <laughs> 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 That's not gonna happen. 